Hey everybody, welcome to another video. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the Mike Moustakis deal with him resigning in Kansas City for one more year. The deal is worth $2.2 million for one year. It also includes a $5.5 million performance bonus added on to it. So he could make upwards of a total of $7.7 million by the end of the year. Now, this is a great value deal for the Royals. Because essentially they get him for very cheap at $2.2 million. Now, I'm pretty sure the Royals would be happy to pay him the $7.7 million if he reaches all the, all those performance bonuses. Which I'm assuming they're going to be like, you know, finish the year with so many RBIs, so many hits, so many home runs. Finish above um, a certain amount of average point. Like say, like hit above a 300 average by the end of the year play in like so many games that's probably what the performance bonus is going to be based around and he'll probably earn like a million or half a million for every kind of bonus that he like you know checks off and completes so this is really good for the royals i was kind of thinking before the signing i'm like man the royals they really haven't added really anybody they've they've essentially lost everybody you know with hosmer and lorenzo kane and mike moustakis and it was rumored that Moustakis was going to go to the Chicago Cubs, possibly the Colorado Rockies too. I, I know they were kind of maybe in on Mike Moustakis as well. But I think he opted to go back to a team that you know he's been with, that he trusts, that he's played for before. So he just resigns in Kansas City for one more year. It's kind of surprised me how low that deal was. It kind of makes me wonder... Maybe Mike Moustakas wasn't getting very many offers this offseason, or maybe people just didn't, or people in other teams just didn't want to pay him the money that he's worth. I mean, Mike Moustakas is, is a guy that could easily hit 30 home runs and 70 plus RBIs, pretty decent defensively. I don't know why a team wouldn't really pay him. I'm not sure if he took a pay cut to stay with the Royals. That could be. The reason, but after this one year when his contract is up, I can definitely see Mike Mustak Mike Mustakis opting out, because it, although his deal gives him an option for next year, his option for next year I believe is only worth like ten million, maybe even less than that, and the Royals have a buyout of one million dollars, I believe this year, this year or next year for like a million, so if things go really bad. They can just easily just buy him out, and they won't have to deal with um, you know his contract. I mean, one year contract. I don't think they would buy him out anyways, but they have that option if they need to. And I think he's going to opt out because obviously I think he's going to want to get paid, but I don't think he won't resign again with the Royals. Um, I could definitely see him resigning with them. I think he'll opt out. I think he'll probably want more money. He'll probably want to make more than just $10 million next year. And with a very big free agent class, he might be one of the guys that, again, like this offseason, is one of the last guys to really sign. So I think he'll stay probably in Kansas City next year on a new deal, probably for more longer term and probably be more pay to stay in Kansas City. So this is good for the Kansas City Royals. I kind of predicted them. If they didn't really do anything, I kind of had them finishing maybe possibly dead last in the division. I know. But now with the signing of Mike Moustakis and with the addition of Lucas Duda, who also signed a one-year deal with the club for $2 million. So those two guys, they got them on really good deals. I can see the Royals easily finishing third. I still think the Cleveland Indians are going to win that division, the AL Central, by like a landslide. Um, I still believe the Twins are a much more better team than the Royals right now. Unless the Royals go and sign Jake Aridia to a deal, I can't really justify the Royals finishing second in the division ahead of the Twins. But I think a solid third place could be up for grabs. But I think the White Sox are going to be a much more improved team than they were last year with all their rookies in the lineup. So... Royal fans, what do you think of the signing? Do you think Mike Moustakis is going to opt out next year and re-sign with you guys and 
but just for more money? Because that's what I'm thinking. Or will he walk and sign with another team? It kind of depends. There's next some well ne yeah next off season's free agency class is a pretty big one. There's a lot of big name guys that could potentially hit the market like a Clayton Kershaw, a Bryce Harper, Josh Donaldson. Like there's tons of guys that are projected to hit free agency. It's gonna be crazy next summer. But that'll do it for today's video. Uh, I thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.